And it was another game the Buckeyes were expected to win big, and instead it came down to a final play. Number one Ohio State visiting Indiana, a team that's given the Bucks trouble in recent years and no difference today. Ohio State trailed 10 6 at the half, finally gets going in the third. Bucks ran for just 14 yards on 16 attempts in the first half. Ezekiel Elliott, 55 yard touchdown. Bucks lead for the first time in the game, but it was short lived. Cardale Jones makes a big mistake in the red zone. He's picked off. Indiana scored on the ensuing drive to reclaim the lead. Late third quarter, huge play. Bucks going for it on fourth and one at their own 35. Zeke comes busting through the line, turns on that track speed, 65 yards to the house. Bucks back in front, 20 to 17. Fourth quarter, Ohio State creates separation. Cardell Jones up top to Michael Thomas, 23 yard touchdown. They can't throw it slash there, that's 15 yards. But OSU up 27-17. Hoosiers got it back down to seven, but Zeke appears to seal it here. 23 carries, 274 yards, three touchdowns, including a 75-yarder here. Ohio State starting to run away with it, 34-20. But Indiana scored again, and it all came down to fourth and goal from the nine. The bad snap, and then Xander Diamant throws up a prayer. Eli Apple making the game-saving play. Ohio State survives. 34-27, James Ryder recaps a wild one in Bloomington. Despite Ezekiel Elliott turning in the second best rushing performance in Ohio State history, second to only Eddie George, Ohio State still had to survive a fourth down play in this end zone as time expired to keep their record undefeated and escape Indiana 5-0. I kind of thought it was going to be a screen, so that's what I was looking for. And I seen him, I seen him bobble the snap, so I just took off running. Hopefully, I, you know, I could get another touchdown or whatever. <laughs> and um, you know, he picked it back up, and we got him down. We, I mean, he threw the ball. We got him out of bounds, incomplete, game over. You know, we had, um, you know, too many penalties on our you know, pass defense. So a lot of things to work on, but you know, in that kind of situation, go step up and make a play. That was a heck of an effort. I couldn't even see it, by the way, what happened. You know, Coach Meyer made an emphasis that in games like this on the road, uh, big plays, uh, we're, that's what's going to spark the team. And um, I knew that we needed big plays. And I mean, the old line did a great job blocking, and uh, they, they made it easy for me. Despite the win, Ohio State continues to struggle to find the form that it was at last year to win the national title. And oddly enough, the Buckeyes are being compared to last season's Florida State squad. But the good news for the Buckeyes, they remain undefeated and will return home to play Maryland next week. In Bloomington, I'm James Ryder, Fox45Now.com.